Hello Panthers, welcome to Georgia State University, the reactivation application tutorial. Today I will be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to reactivate your application for our upcoming term, spring or summer 2021. In order to access the reactivation application, please visit admissions.gsu.edu. You will then be prompted to a screen which says Georgia State Admissions. Click on How to Apply. If you are applying for our perimeter campus, choose Associate Degrees. If you are applying for our Atlanta campus, choose Bachelor Degrees. Today's purpose, we will be choosing Bachelor's Degree. Once you have chosen How to Apply and the the campus location that you will be applying to, you will then be prompted to a screen that says undergraduate admissions, bachelor's degree. If you are applying for our associate's degree, it will say undergraduate admissions, associate degree. Now, please hover over how to apply. You will see several different type student types. So because we are reactivating our application today, scroll down until you see reactivating your application. Click this. Once you have clicked the reactivation application link, you will then be prompted to a page that says, how, to, how do I reactivate my application? There will be a blue link that says reactivation application. Again, please be sure to understand that once the two additional terms for the re-entry have passed, you will be required to submit a new application and new application fee. So the reactivation application is only good for two terms. Once you click on the reactivation application link, you will then be prompted to the GSU Undergraduate Admissions 2021 application. So it will give you some instructions on how to apply and give you a little bit instructions on what you are applying for. Please fill out the questions as accurate as possible. So today's purpose, we are going to use a high school senior as an example. The first question is going to ask you, are you currently in high school? You will need to click yes. However, if you are a transfer student or an, uh, any other type, you are going to click no for this. The second question is going to ask you, are you currently enrolled at GSU? No, you are not currently enrolled at GSU. So this means that you have never taken classes or attended Georgia State University. Once you have selected that answer, you will then be prompted a third question that will ask you, have you ever attended or applied to Georgia State within the last three terms? This is where you need to click yes. Once you click yes, you will see start your application as a reactivation student. There will be a link that you can click, so please be sure to click that link. Once you click that link, you will, you will then see a screen that will ask you to log in. So you will use your personal email address along with your password. So this information was created when you first applied. If you do not have a login, you will need to create a new account. Once you log in, it will ask you apply to Georgia State University. On the left hand side, you will see all of your applications that you have attempted or submitted. Please do not click any of these links. You need to click the start new application here at the bottom. Once you click start new application, you will then see 2021 application cycle and you will also see 2021 reactivation application. Click Create Application. Then you will be prompted to application details. It will show you when you start the application, the status of your application. Be sure that it shows 2021 application cycle and 2021 reactivation application. Open the application. After you open the application, you will be prompted to a reactivation application instructions and information page. Please read this thoroughly and make sure that you are following instructions. Once you have done so, click continue. 
on the left hand side here you will see a multiple different links of things that you will need to be you will need to fill out the first is going to be your personal background this information usually rolls over from your previous application however update as needed once you have completed your personal information and updated it as as needed click continue you will then go to your reactivation information link the reactivation application information, you will need to be sure that you are filling it out accordingly. It's first going to ask you which type of application did you originally submit and are requesting to reactivate. So if you originally applied to the Perimeter Campus and want to reactivate your application for Perimeter Campus for Spring 2021 or Summer 2021, click Perimeter Campus Association Associate. If you are reactivating your application for the Atlanta campus, click the Atlanta campus bachelors. And for this purpose, we are going to do the, the Atlanta campus. Student type options. It's going to give you a few different student type options which you will need to select. So for this purpose, we are going to be a freshman at our Atlanta campus. However, if you are transition, transfer, dual enrollment, early college, non-traditional freshman, transient, post-baccalaureate, or re-entry, select your term accordingly. The third question is going to ask you, what semester are you applying for? Please be sure to click Spring 2021. Spring 2021 is our next upcoming term and classes will begin around mid-January. The next question is going to ask you your major or degree program. Be sure to select your major or degree that you, desi you desire to choose. The next question will ask you, are you interested in taking online classes? For this purpose, we are going to click no because we are planning to enroll on campus. However, if you are planning to take online classes, you will need to select yes, but Remember, our Atlanta campus does not offer online courses. Online courses are only offered through our perimeter campus. Then you will choose your location. Because this is our Atlanta campus, Atlanta is the only location that will prompt through. However, if you choose the associate degrees, so perimeter college, you will see several different locations of where our perimeter location campuses are. Choose accordingly. It's then going to ask you, have you taken classes within the last three terms at Georgia State, or Georgia State University's Atlanta campus? You are going to select no. And have you submitted a new application within the last two terms, which you are applying for? You will select yes. However, then you will click on your, you will enter your Panther ID number, and then you will also select your current academic college and just choose which accordingly. Are you planning to live in university housing? And you can select this according as well. According as well. So this just ensures that if you are planning to live on campus or off campus, and click continue. You will continue answering all of the questions as as needed as you go throughout the the reactivation application. So you will need to be sure to update any information that's needed. So be sure that you are going through academic history, test scores, employment, military questions, tuition classification, the legal questions, signature, and review. Once you have completed all of your questions that it's asking you, you will then get to your review page. If there are any errors, it will show at the top of the page and it will show red. You will need to correct every single error before you can submit your application. It will not allow you to submit your application until you do so. Once you have updated all of your errors, you will then see a signature page. Be sure that you list your signature in the box that it's asking. Your signature will be the same as your first and last name on your personal background. Once you have finished this, please click Submit Application. It's going to prompt you an acknowledge page, a disclaimer, just to ensure that you are accurately 
reporting all the information and you cannot make any changes once you do so. If you are ready to submit your application, press OK. Once you have successfully submitted your, your reactivation application, you will get a confirmation. It will show in the, the URL that the application has been submitted. It will also confirm that you have submitted your application. For future references, you can always refer back to this page by visiting Check Status. You can upload any documents that you will need any admission requirements that you will need to complete your application for our team to review your file for process. If there are any additional questions in regards of how to reactivate your application, please be sure to email us at adminternational at gsu.edu. That is adminternational at gsu.edu. We respond within 24 to 48 hours and we are here to assist you in the best way possible. Thank you for visiting our step-by-step -step tutorial here at Georgia State University with the International Admissions Department. We hope to see you this fall and cannot wait to meet you. Thank you.